Breaking news tonight as Hillary Clinton defends her husband's charges of sexism on the part of Bernie Sanders supporters. At a rally yesterday in New Hampshire, Bill Clinton said his wife's backers have been subject to such vicious attacks that at least one progressive did not feel comfortable putting her name on an article promoting Hillary Clinton. She posted it under a pseudonym because she and other people who have gone on the online to defend Hillary and explain, just explain why they supported her, have been subject to vicious trolling and attacks that are literally too profane often, not to mention sexist, to repeat. Those comments part of a larger broadside against Sanders generated a lot of attention and at a rally today, Bill Clinton, whose attacks, let's remember Barack Obama in 2008 campaign, were seen as less than helpful, acknowledged he has to be careful. The hotter this election gets, the more I wish I were just a former president and just for a few months, not the spouse of the next one. Because, you know, I have to be careful what I say. In an interview with Rachel Maddow today, which will air in full here on MSNBC at 9 p.m. Eastern, Hillary Clinton argued her husband had a point. And I think Bill was really defending my supporters because we know that a lot of them are being harassed online, they're being harassed at our events, they're being really treated badly. And look, I'm all for people who are for my opponent. I think it's great to bring in as many new young people as possible. But I want people treated respectfully, and I think that's part of what he was uh, talking about. Joining me now, Tad Devine, senior advisor of the Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. Good to have you here, Tad. Um, uh, uh, Senator Sanders was pretty unequivocal in several interviews, Absolutely. basically saying, we want cut, no part of this. cut the crap, uh, anything. Do you guys, does this, is this something you guys feel like you have a problem with? Is, is there, is it the same, is it a different side of the same coin of passionate support in the era of social media, that, that it's a very fine line between that and people getting nasty? Chris, I think all we can do is what Bernie has done, make it very clear and unequivocal that we don't want people to do this, you know, and, uh, and I think the reason the Clintons are raising this is not because of, you know, only because of concern about supporters. I think, you know, the, the polls are very tight here. The polls are tightening elsewhere. There's a, you know, Bill Clinton yesterday didn't just talk about this he threw the kitchen sink at bernie sanders so you know i just think it's unfortunate he's decided to do it we're gonna we're gonna stay on message let, let me ask you uh clinton had a sort of interesting bill clinton an interesting riff about the establishment and i want to play this clip for you get your response take a listen i think it's unfortunate that we can't have a debate without rancor it sort of Campaign. Anybody that supports her is a member of the establishment, whatever that is. You know, and he, he made it this point, I, when I first heard these comments, I thought, well, I, I'm not sure about that. But right. the, the point he was making was this. There's a difference between saying, let's debate substantively, right. and the other thing, which is anyone supporting Clinton is fundamentally part of a corrupt system from which no good faith can be expected. I mean, is that the argument that the Sanders campaign is making? No. The argument is that the political and economic establishment in America has put in place a rigged economy. That rigged economy is sending almost no, all, almost what is that all word the mean? wealth to the top. Define that word. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it, what a rigged economy No, no, means. that I know. Yeah. Establishment, define establishment. What's well, that I, mean? What's the word mean? You know, I think it's, it's, it's the sources of power in our society. Wall Street, for example. Wall Street is part of the sure. establishment, okay? The political structures that are in place that allow for Citizens United, unlimited super fund packing. Well, you, you have a super PAC today, okay? And you take, for example, as Hillary Clinton did, $25 million in the last quarter. 15 million from Wall Street, that's the establishment. Okay, but isn't okay? part of the problem, right, is that that theory of politics requires an establishment to be acting in some sort of, some sort of unified purpose, right? And the Clinton campaign says, wait a second, you talk about the establishment, there's Wall Street hedge fund people dropping millions of dollars to defeat me, right? They don't view me as an ally, right? Within the, whatever the broad slice of American life you call the establishment, why should we think it's unified in any way? Well, listen, she can make all the arguments she wants about being attacked by the South. In the first ad we put on this campaign, there was a soundbite from Bernie Sanders. He said, people are sick and tired of establishment politics and establishment economics, and they want real change. And that's the heart of our campaign. So, let me ask you this, then. The median Democratic voter, okay? When you say the establishment, the Democratic Party, does that count as part of the establishment? Well, you know, listen, we're running for the nomination of the Democratic Party. Well, that's a question let, me define, no, let me define the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party 
party that Bernie Sanders hopes he can create is going to include millions of new people who right now do not even participate in the Democratic process. That's the Democratic Party we want to create. Okay, but isn't it the case that the median Democratic Party viewer, uh, voter has a positive feeling about the Democratic Party and particularly the person who sits atop of the establishment, sure. which is the most powerful person in the free world, Barack Obama. Sure. And listen, Bernie Sanders has been part of that as a member of the caucus in the United States House and Senate for 25 years. Listen, is he part of the, the establishment? Is Sanders, he's, no, he's a sitting senator. I would, uh, you know, I asked him that very question one time, and, and, he, and he said no. He's fighting against what he perceives as an establishment that has this, rigged an economy and is held in place by a corrupt system. This defines me. Finance. This reminds me of my favorite definition of rich, which is someone who has more money than you. Yeah. <laughs> Pat Devine, okay. thank you very much. All right, Chris. All right, joining me now, Ayanna Presley. She's Boston.